hey guys if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to know the regular updates in our channel and In the first question of input and output, we are required to get an input of an integer value and to print the integer value as it is. This is a pretty simple problem where we get the input and output as an integer data type and we print them. We will move to the next question. In the second question, we are required to get an input of several values and print the same. So we will be using the same procedure. And thus it yields positive result. And now we will be heading to the third question. As a similar approach, we are required to get two lines where the first line consists of the size of the array and the k value and the next line consists of the array elements. We could simply achieve this by initializing two input statements and printing the same. There are many ways to achieve the output for this program. And this is one of the easiest and effective ways. As the test cases has been passed, we will discuss about all the alternatives and other possible ways of achieving the output for this program. So what we are going to now is to initialize the input of the first line as an array and to repeat the same for the second line also. Here we get the input as an array because it is easy to execute the elements with the use of the sign tricks. As we have previously discussed, there are many possible ways of executing this program, but these two are the most efficient ways yield a positive result. And we will go on to the next question. In the fourth question, we are required okay to get an input for three lines and to print the same. In the question, it is specified to get the input in integer value or anything, but we can simply achieve it using the input function. So what we will do is to Initialize three values to get the A input and to print the same as per the given format. And thus we would achieve the output for this program. And we will move on to the next question. In the fifth question, we are required to get the input of three lines and to execute it in a single line separated by space so we will declare three input values and we will declare three input values and print the same using the comma operation or the plus operation according to our vision and thus this program would get successfully executed and let's move on to the next program this program is similar to all the other programs we have encountered in this tutorial where we are required to get input of three lines and to print the same lines of input which you have obtained. So we will perform this operation by declaring three variables of input and to print the same by using the print operation in three separate lines. Thus, this would yield the positive result and we would be heading on to the next question. Seventh question is a bit different from the other questions that we have encountered. In this question, we are required to get an input of string variables and to print it with a separated space in between them. So, in this program, we would require a for loop to perform the functions efficiently. So, in this program, we just are going to slice the index till the last letter of the string and to print the last letter of the string separately. There are many possible ways of doing this program using just a split operation and to print asterisk of the array we have obtained. But we are just going to discuss the primitive or simple method in this tutorial. Okay, this displays error due to the mistake we had done in the for loop. We have just mentioned the array index, rather we had not done slicing. So we will correct this mistake and discuss it brief, briefly.
to understand the previous question better we will discuss various test cases which is relatively similar to the previous problem so first we have initialized an input variable named a which would obtain the string passed by a programmer user or any application and we declare a for loop for printing in the individual elements and the letters present in the past input so here we print the individual elements of the input variable okay so let's pass the input character and the past input characters is executed in each line followed by one another but our objective is to print the individual elements present in a input string separated with spaces so pass the in in statement separated by spaces and if we pass the input we get the letters separated by spaces but this answer would be neglected or proven wrong by the gui compiler as we have a space after i it is considered as an invalid output in gui so in order to obtain string without spaces at the end we need to alter the limit of the for loop where we initialize the i in the for loop till v that is till the third element of the fourth letter or the letter before the final one and to print the final letter separately after the for loop so here we would obtain only the numbers before the last elements to be separated by space and the end element would be printed in the same line thus we obtain a successful output for this program now let's move on to the next question in the eighth question we are required to get the input of float value separated by spaces and to print the same separated from each other in a new line so our common approach in this question is to just get an input of these values and to split each items using the split operation and to print the individual elements using the print operation thus this would yield a positive result and each element would be printed in the new line now let's move on to the ninth question this is a similar type of question what we have experienced in the previous one where we have to get an input of a string variable and to print the each letters of the variable in a new line so we have initialized a variable a to get the input and using a for loop we print each element in the new line with respect to each other and thus we yield a positive result and now let's move to the final program of this input and output series this question is similar to the seventh question where here we have provided the end operation with spaces but unlike that we have to provide here the end operation with commas so as per our procedure we declare a variable a to get an input and we print each element separated from each other with spaces using a for loop where we do slicing in order to prevent the last element to return commas so we neglect the last element by providing or limiting the input statement up to the element before the last element later and at the end of the for loop we mention the final element of the input variable and thus this program would return a considerable output as expected all the coding part in this tutorial is provided in the description and thank you for watching this tutorial till the end